Hello, welcome to the Sunshine Hearth. My name is Shauna and Happy New Year. It's 2022, y'all. I cannot believe it. It feels like 2021 literally just started. It, I'm going nuts over here. So today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over 21 of my favorite craft supplies that I bought and used in 2021 or made use of in 2021. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the very first thing that I want to talk about that I got in 2021 is my PPE for resin. Now, some people will argue, oh, you don't need it. Some people say, yes, you do. I'm one of those, yes, you do. I had to have um, surgery on my nasal passages in 2021, and um, a big contributor was working with resin. Now, I, I do always work in a ventilated space, but sometimes that's just not enough when you're sanding, you know, the resin or, you know, you're pouring it, those fumes and everything, they, they get up there. So, the very first thing that I wanted to show was the PPE that I got. Um, and it's just the mask, the ventilator, and the eye goggles. So, I use this every time I do resin now. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys that I got was this tripod. It is a Zenvo tripod. I got it off of Amazon and its legs just bend any which way you want. It makes a great handheld. It also can be wrapped around a tree if you're outside. It's compact. It's really easy to just toss in the car and it's sturdy. So I love this thing. I'll probably use it more than my more expensive tripod than um, because I, it's so big that I don't want to take it everywhere I go. Whereas this one, if I go to the park, if I go to the lake, if I go anywhere to a family gathering or, you know, anything like that, this is really, really sturdy. And I will leave this linked down below as long as well as everything else that I can find if it's still available. I'll leave all of that linked down below. Um, the next thing that I got to show you is something simple, but it is a lint roller. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of two. It comes with the big one and the little one, and you give a dollar for it. The, I never knew that I needed this until I started sublimation. This year, uh, in 2021, I started a sublimation business where I am making all kinds of different things, mugs, car coasters, shirts, just all kinds of stuff, right? And let me tell you, this right here, it will be your best friend. I found out the hard way that you need this. So, and you know, all you gotta do is kind of get some of the sticky off of it, kind of roll it maybe on your shirt or something, and then, Kind of give your mug or your cup or your tumbler or whatever you're doing just to, you know, a quick go through. Because when you are sublimating, every piece of dust that is on that pro on that object, once it goes into the press, it's, it's not coming off, right? So, cheap tool to keep in your craft room. One dollar. Um, the next thing that I got is from the Dollar Tree as well. And it is one of these nail polish holders. And I'm sure that you guys seen these all of 2021 on every single video. I love this thing. It is so much easier to weed with this because it just, you know, it just sits right in there and I can weed and uh, so vinyl, weeding vinyl in case you didn't know. Um, but yeah. I have probably five of these just sitting around my craft room right now because sometimes I get lazy and I don't clean one out <laughs> or four. Um, but yeah, this one is my favorite because it's purple and I love purple. Um, but yeah, these, they come in all kinds of different colors too. So keep an eye out if you're at the Dollar Tree, keep an eye out for these. For a dollar, they're great to have in your craft room. 
So let's just keep going with the Dollar Tree stuff. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys are these measuring tapes. And I, let's see, it goes to 60 inches. And all you have to do is press this button right here and it goes back in. These are so handy. I have so many of them now. I have a couple in my craft room in different places. I keep one in my car. I keep one in my purse. I mean, just you do not even realize how many times that you need a tape measure and don't even realize, you know, that you're going to need one. Like it just pops up on you. And these are so handy to have, especially if you're doing like shirts or you're doing um, fabric of any kind, any kind of sewing or any kind of project, really. These, even sublimation, I use these to like measure if I get something new that I'm going to sublimate on and I need to figure out how big I want to make my image. I'll take, you know, that board or whatever it is that I'm sublimating and I'll measure, you know, the width and the height and then I'll reduce it down to a little bit to see, you know, how big I want my image to fit on there. And then I have an exact measurement. So, love, love, love. They come in many different colors and patterns. These are my two favorites. The next thing that came from the Dollar Tree are these little snack bags. And it comes with 45, and they are Sure Fresh Snap. Um, sure Fresh Zipper Seal Storage Snack Bags. <laughs> It's a mouthful. Um, they are square and they're just these little small square, but these are absolutely amazing to throw any goodies. If you're, if you're running a business and you want to send, you know, some stickers and a business card and their packing slip, um, you know, any little goodies that you want to send, cause you're not going to be sending like big stuff. Usually you're going to be sending small things. These are absolutely great, and they're lightweight, and they come in a box of 45 for a dollar. So, these at your Dollar Tree, look for them, especially if you're running a small business. Um, this also came from the Dollar Tree. This is one of my all-time favorite. If you're working with resin or paint or anything, these are amazing for alcohol, um, nail polish remover, you know, the acetone, whatever you're using any kind of liquid, even water, you know, soapy water sometimes. I have one for soapy water too. This one is alcohol. But all you do is you take a paper towel and you just press it and it comes up and there's not this big mess. So it's quick, it's easy, it's fun, it's fun to use, you know, and it's really, really, really handy. So I keep this in my bathroom, in the bathroom of my craft room. Um, next to my resin stuff so that it's always accessible and I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar They do come in different colors as well. The bottles are always clear, but these the little plastic top is a different color Whew, There's a lot of stuff. How much have we gone through so far one two three four five six seven things already the next thing that I want to talk about is diaper wipes whether you have a kid or not Y'all need diaper wipes in your home, like for real, especially if you're a crafter. Oh my gosh, these things have like come in handy so many times because there's times when you, well, first of all, if you get your hands dirty and you're working with paint or something and you don't want to get that on your faucet, grab a, a diaper wipe, wipe your hands off, and then go wash your hands. Um, if you are painting resin, a lot of time, you know, these are great to wipe off that excess paint. There's just so many uses for diaper wipes. And I got these at Walmart, um, but you can get them from the Dollar Tree. They don't have to be Pampers or any expensive kind. These just happened to be on sale for like $1.20 at Walmart. So I picked up a couple of packs. Um, I think it was $1.20. Anyway, um, but you can find diaper wipes at the Dollar Tree for a dollar as well. And they're not very expensive. So, keep you some diaper wipes. The next thing is these Bic White Out, uh, I guess, correct pins, holder things. I love these things so much. As a planner... 
Oh my gosh, especially if you're doing um, like business planning and social media planning and even just day-to-day -day planning. There's so many times that I have said I was going to do something and I'll what I'll do is the night before I'll write down like what I want to get done that following day on that day and I run out of time. These are amazing. So it just keeps my planner kind of, you know, neat and tidy, but these are also really good if you want to cover up those lines in your planner. So I got these on Amazon. I think it came in a pack of three and this is, this is my second one that I've, this is the second one out of the pack that I've opened. Um, so I will leave these linked down below. I'm sorry, y'all, my eye itches. My allergies have gone nuts. Um, but I'll leave these li um, listed down below. But I did get these on Amazon. And they're not very expensive. Uh, the next thing that I got, I got this at Amazon as well. And it is camkicks.com. And all it is, is it's little remote control. It's a Bluetooth remote that you can connect to your phone. So all of the recordings and things um, that I do, I do with my iPhone. Um, because I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max you know, thing. So, I find that a lot of times the camera on it actually does better than my camera that I, ha I was using. So, if I'm doing pictures of myself, if I'm doing um, videos, TikTok videos, anything, this little remote control is so amazing to start and stop my camera. All you have to do is connect it with your Bluetooth and, you know, it's easily hid. You can take this off of it if you want or just kind of tuck it into your hand. And just like that, it's gone. Nobody sees it. So, I will leave this linked down below. Um, pretty sure I got it on Amazon. Pretty sure. So, <laughs> I'll leave it linked. Um, the next thing goes back to my sublimation. When you are getting things out of a heat press, they are hot. I mean, hot. And all, most of 2021, I was one of those people that I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Or I would wait for it to completely cool, which sometimes you cannot do. Sometimes things are hot peels. So, I picked up these heat, whoo, these heat gloves um, from Amazon and they're cheap. They're, I think I gave like $9.99 maybe for them, 10, $11, something like that. So they work, you know, are they the absolute best? No, you know, I, you can still, if you're holding something for a long period of time, the heat does come through a little bit, but for what you're going to be using them for, they're absolutely perfect. Um, now that I've knocked most of my stuff over, <laughs> The next thing that I wanted to show was fabric. Now, I know y'all are like, really? Fabric. So, I taught myself how to sew, and I have been making everything. I absolutely love it. So, it's just one of those things for me in 2021 became such a big focus because I was bound and determined by the end of 2021, I was going to be able to sew and I was going to be able to make projects and make things and that it wasn't going to be, you know, just the little drawstring bags that they teach you how to make in home ec in high school. You know what I mean? So I have so much fabric and this is one of my favorite. I just absolutely love, 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 love this fabric. And I have special plans for this fabric. You guys will see that in an upcoming video, maybe. Um, the next thing that I got is just this little Westcott paper cutter. I didn't need, I have a big industrial kind of chomper cutter that I used. And it was good. It was great. The problem with it is it's so big and bulky and so heavy. So I picked this up at Walmart. I think I gave seven or eight dollars for it maybe and it's just it's simple it's light it's easy especially because I only use it really for my planners uh, my planner stuff and things like that anyway so it's amazing it's just awesome absolutely love it highly recommend having something light like that in your in your um, craft room the next thing is I got from five below 
And it's just a little ring light phone holder. Has the little button. It's really simple. And y'all, it is cheap. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it is cheap. But this moves around and all this stuff. Now, I'll be honest, I do not use this to hold my phone or anything like that. I do use it when I am weeding because the light in my craft room is not the absolute best. And sometimes some of those smaller weeding that I'm doing in the vinyl is really hard to see. So I can turn this light on and I can bend it down to where it's shining on the vinyl and I, it makes it easier to weed. So I figured for five bucks, it would save me having to get like a light board or anything because really I don't need a light board for anything other than weeding vinyl. So five bucks at five below. And I'm pretty sure they do still have this those. Is number 15. And it is just one of these little shoe boxes from the Dollar Tree. Now, why do I love this? Well, first of all, it is compact. It is great for storage in your craft room. But I have found, for instance, for me, I use them for all kinds of things. This one in particular, I use for my car coasters. So if I've made car coasters, I put them in here because I always make at least one car coaster, you know, to make sure that the, the print that I want to use works, you know, and it's, it's in good, you know, it, it just, it looks good. So what I do is I print off one and then I make it and I stick it in here. I keep the cards that I attach them to in here, the bags, which by the way, bonus here these are snack bags but they're taller than i got at the dollar tree as well and these cards with two car coasters fit perfectly inside this bag so that is what i use this one for and i absolutely love it and for a dollar they're they're amazing for storage in your craft room and they come with a lid so that is amazing the next thing i want to show you keeping in the same kind of genre as the storage are these baskets that you can get at the Dollar Tree as well. I love these baskets because they can be hung on like a closet door or your craft room door. And I just hang mine by the handle. That way it's kind of hanging like this. This one I keep extra sublimation designs that I've already printed out. That way they don't go to waste. Um, I keep that in this one. I'm going to set this aside just because it's so big. Um, but you can keep scraps of fabric. You can keep supplies in there. You know, they're just, it's another great tool. And you can find that at the Dollar Tree. The next thing that I want to show you is from Walmart. Oops, I'm dropping them everywhere. Okay. And that is these wet erase markers. I love these things, love them. So if you ever want to make like a laminated page for your planner, um, one that, you know, can be used over and over and over, you can get a, you know, delaminate a page and then these wet erase markers are just absolutely phenomenal. And once you let it, you know, you have to let it dry for a couple of seconds, but then it doesn't smear at all until you go in with like a wet paper towel and just wipe it off. I got these at Walmart. They came in a set of, these came in a set of eight. Um, one of these is still in my craft room, but they are absolutely a must have for your planner if you want to do like a laminated page that can be reused. Really glad that I got those. Love, love, love. Okay, so we are down to the last four. So the next thing, that I wanna show you is this Fiskars scissor sharpener. I used to be one of those people that I would use the scissors from the Dollar Tree or wherever and I would use them until they were dull and then just kinda of like toss them and go buy more. Uh, I know that's horrible and I, I hate to admit it, but I didn't know these things existed and I did not know how to sharpen scissors. So when I found this, I, I think I paid like less than $10 for this thing. And it is so great. So now 
every time I use my scissors on something that I know is like going to dull them out or after every couple of uses, if I'm cutting paper, you know, things like that, I run them through this. And all you do is stick them through those two holes and you make a cutting action with it. So, love that. I will leave this link down below, but I think I got this at Walmart, to be honest with you, but I'll try to find it. The next thing that I got is from the Dollar Tree, another storage thing. This is one of, it's just an accordion folder. I did not realize that I would accumulate so many receipts running a business and stuff that you don't even really think about. So I have one in my house and I have one in my car and all throughout the year, I keep all of my receipts and I have them labeled different things. This one is, I'm not gonna show you, but each one has a tab and I have each one labeled as something different and then I just put it in that corresponding tab. And I keep them all in order, you know, starting at January. So if, you know, I have a receipt in February, then it would go in behind the January receipts. That way, at the end of the year, everything is together. I can go in and just kind of plug and chug in the computer and get everything done, put in my spreadsheets and stuff. So it takes a little bit of time, but I have found that it works for me because if I don't and I just expect myself to keep up with all those receipts, um, it ain't happening. So, <laughs> these are amazing. And for a dollar, they're great tools if you're running a small business. All right. The second or the last thing, second to last thing, is this Accutech scale. Now, I got this off of Amazon and it has a 50 pound limit. It is... You can, you can plug it into the wall and use it, or you can have put batteries in it, either which one works. I love this thing so much. Before I got it, I was having to go to the post office while they were open, get everything printed out, all of the labels printed out and stuff, and get it shipped off that way. Now, I can print my labels at home because I know exactly how much my stuff weighs, I have a printer, I have my label maker stuff, you know, all of that. So now it's just so much easier with this because I can get the exact weight. So I'm not charging my customers more than what they have to be. So at the very beginning of the year, I bought this and I have started using it religiously. Every single order gets weighed on this to make sure that the postage that you are paying is exactly what you need to be paying. And then there were times where I would go to the post office too and have to pay more than what I had charged to somebody. So it was a double-edged sword. The last thing that I want to show you guys, I can't show you, but it is my favorite craft supply in the entire world. And it is dun -dun 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 -dun, my box shredder. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I did not buy this thing until about two weeks ago. And let me tell you, it has been, it's a game changer. Oh my gosh. So as a small business, like you're, for me at least, I'm constantly getting shipments in of stuff in cardboard boxes. And where I live, there's not a place to recycle anywhere near me. So it would get broke down and put in the dumpster and I hate that. I really wanted to be able to reuse it. So I started doing some research and I found this box shredder. It was $119 on Amazon. And now it doesn't cut real, real thick cardboard. I'll tell you that right now. But y'all, it shreds it in a way that it can be used for packing to help like protect the, uh, the stuff that you're packing. So instead of all that bubble wrap, you can use this and it's biodegradable. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. It is my favorite thing. So I took a picture of it and I'm going to insert it here. Choo -choo. Okay, 
Is that not amazing? Is that not amazing? I absolutely love that. Love it. It is by far my number one of all time favorite thing that I have used in 2021, hands down. And I was only using it for the last two weeks. <laughs> so that is 21 things that, 21 craft supplies that I have in my room or tools that I use and that I absolutely loved in 2021. So for the bonus, because I did promise a bonus, for number 22, a sense of humor. You have to be able to laugh at yourself and laugh at your mistakes and be like, I can't believe I just done that and move on. There are so many times that I have ruined projects and had to start all over. Stuff that I know how to make. Stuff that I've made, you know, thousands of by now. I have a specific mug. Y'all, I have been doing sublimation mugs now for a bit. And I still have ghosting on my mugs. And I have to remake it. I still don't get them completely straight sometimes. And I have to remake it. Or it'll scorch and I have to remake it. There's so many times that I have messed up. And it happens. We're crafters. Sometimes those mistakes end up being exactly what was needed. And sometimes not. And we have to redo it. But that's okay. That is okay. So, in 2020, 2020, 2020, 2022, I want you guys to really, really, really just have fun. It's not about being perfect. It's not about having everything precise it's about having fun and making and creating and doing something that you love. So, those are my words of wisdom for 2022. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I am going to be doing tons of different kinds of content on here. I am not one of those people that can stick to one niche. I'm sorry, I just can't. I love to craft and I love to craft many different things and I love to plan and I love to cook and I love to bake and I love to go out places. So you are gonna see everything here. And if that is something that you are interested in, smash that subscribe button right now and I'll see you next week. Bye.